What's going on guys? Welcome to another vlog. And to, today, we are actually packing to go out of town. Or not really packing up, we've already kind of packed. Tomorrow, today is Monday, let me tell you the day, I think it's the 7th. Monday the 6th, so today's Monday the 6th. Tomorrow we're leaving out of town around like 9, 10 o'clock. And we're going down to Lake Seminole. The tournament's gonna be Saturday, Sunday, but we're gonna be pre-fishing the whole week. So we're gonna pre-fish, we're gonna try to find fish, try to locate fish. I'm gonna take you guys along through everything. And I know you guys love the tournament vlogs. This is kind of like my last high school tournament ever. Like literally this is my last high school tournament. I canceled world finals, canceled all the other stuff. And even if I like qualify for nationals and stuff, I'm not gonna fish it. Um, I want to try to focus on the videos. I'm going to try to focus on the content that I'm giving out to you guys because I think that's the most important and I really think that's what you guys like. So let's go ahead and start off the vlog. All right, guys, so quick update. I stopped by West Marine. I don't know if you got There you go. I just stopped by West Marine. The thing is we just got three Gen 3s uh, from Lawrence. And what I really got to do is I, I really need one of those little SD cards. I tried one of my 64 get for some reason it just didn't want to work. I don't know if it was my card or what it was, but I just want something that's like an eight gig, something really small to go in my graph. Cause now that the gen threes, the Lorance gen twos have the, just the regular SD card. Now that you move on to the gen three, it has the micro SD card. So really small and that you fit in the GoPro. So uh, I had one in my camera bag over here, but uh, for some reason it just didn't want to fit. So or it, it wanted to fit, it just didn't want to work. So. I'm gonna stop by like Publix over here and uh, I'll see what they got. So, just got the card. And no, I did not get it at Publix. I had to go all the way to another exit to grab this thing. I got the eight gigabyte. It's got the adapter and everything. I don't really think I need that. But uh, literally, um, I think it was two dollars. I don't even know why it was two dollars. It's on the thing that says like eight or nine dollars and it's like two bucks. So, like, I'm not complaining. But, so now we're all headed off the extreme. That's my uh, eighth grade teacher right there. That's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. All right, guys, so put everything on this card. And so uh, pretty much what we just have, here you go. Pretty much what we're doing is we uh, tried it yesterday, it didn't work. What we put on the card is we really didn't have that many waypoints. I've never been in this lake, so we don't have any waypoints. So uh, what we had is just the settings. So we wanted the original settings. This graph was actually not, not working. This is a Gen 2, that's a Gen 3. So we put, one gen three on and uh, now we're just trying to transfer the settings that we had on these to that one so all the settings will be the same um, and then once we do that we're gonna go out on the lake and make sure the graphs are working perfectly fine all right guys so going to take the boat out we're gonna go test out the graphs and see how everything's gonna play out <laughs> Behind him. This is a good one, see, bro. <laughs> this is what Noah's doing while I'm trying to set up the new grass. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting a top water fish so bad. Oh my god, this is freaking crazy. I can't believe he, he destroyed. I was just thinking in my head, I'm like, watch him come up in this. Going back in the lake. Look at that crapped himself, but it's all right. Look at that guy, <laughs> a little fat spot, look at his stomach. It's crazy. Look at his mouth, he's bleeding a little bit from that hook. Look at this, it's not even a fishing bit. Where did those come from? <laughs> about his Some stomach. Rollers. But uh, I'm not even, this isn't even a fishing video, but I caught one on top water. First top water fish of the year. Like legit top water, I've caught some on frogs, but. There you go. Let's get a little thumbnail going. All right, here's a release, guys. Let's see if we can get another one. I'm like, that, that was pretty funny. That guy's right there, that's a fish that I just released. You, you, you can't see him go down right here just because, I mean, maybe if I was looking on that trolling motor, you'd, you'd see him actually have like a line going down to the bottom. There you go. There you go. There's the fish right, right, right there.
car guys right now we're getting the tire pressure and the brakes checked we're over at Perry's high tech we're just waiting on him he's at lunch right now but he's gonna be back we're just making sure everything's you know good went out on the lake caught a fish which is kind of weird we weren't trying to do that we saw some on the graph I made a few casts of top water and caught one but um graphs are working good we're just gonna get this handled and um I'm gonna meet up with Trent here in a little bit we're gonna go fill up we're, we're gonna get a spool I'm gonna spool like four reels I'm gonna spool two with braid two with floor, fluorocarbon then Trent's gonna re-spool all his so we're probably gonna just take him up to Oakwood and get some lime from them and then we'll be going everything will be good and then we just got to pack everything up. So we just got the oil, or not oil, we got the brakes fixed and everything. And um, now we're about to go up the oak wood. I got the reels in the back of the truck. I got like, I think I'm bringing up five or six. Well, Akuma sent, sent me these, so I got one. Got four of these, two are going to braid, two are going to 15 pound fluorocarbon. 15 pound fluorocarbon, 60 pound braid. And then those are trents right there. And we have a few more that he needs to pick up and then we'll be good to go so dropping the boat back off and then we're going to be heading up to oakwood well, we need to get some reaction are they all any big ones they got these this isn't new killer it's a pearl necklace one honestly like that's pretty similar to the white that's fair out need some little dippers too get some um so on his what is it? Braid on that one. And uh, these two on fluorocarbon, those two on braid. 60 pounds. 60, I got 65. That's fine. Wait, what are we doing with the Pinky Beaver? Uh, I mean, see, I like that because we're going to be running that. Like, if we're fishing shallow, which I don't know what the weather's going to do. So. And then we're going to fish some, fish some beavers too. Yeah, but the thing is, it's, it's like tornadoes down there right now. So. That's all I'm buying, dude. Let's get it like this. That's done. What's up, guys? Met a fan. I look with bait and tackle. What's your name, man? Tyler. Tyler? Nice to meet you. He said he's been watching my stuff for a while. He no said he just got done watching one of my pond videos. So. I went pond fishing, came by to pick up some baits. That's great, man. No, I really appreciate no, it. It's nice meeting you. Nice Let's go ahead and take a picture and post it up on Instagram. Cool, dude. All right, guys, just got everything tied on. I have so many rods and reels that I'm pretty much throwing in the boat just because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what you're going to be using. If I mess up this reel, I got to back up. So I got all those rods and reels. I, I lined six of them up at Oakwood like you guys saw. Um, I believe the last clip you saw was with some, some fan that came up to me there. Um, but what I got going right here, I got a swim jig. I got a frog, which is a popping frog, braided, braided line. Got me a big old mop jig, fluorocarbon, 15 pound. I got a chatterbait, I saw a 15 pound line on a medium heavy rod. Right here I got my power crank rod, my Akuma, and I have a 6XD right there, just a bright, but just a natural color. And that's on 15. Also, I got um, sexy, uh, sexy dog, and um, sexy shag color on some braided line right there. And that's everything that I'm pretty much going to tie on. You know, I'm going to have a lot of poles in the boat. I'm going to have my fish out. I'm going to have a little bit of everything. You never know what's going to happen, um, like I said before. But I'm also have like a drop shot, maybe a Carolina rig. But the rest of the stuff, I'm going to throw my rod socks on, um, my rod gloves. And I'm going to go from there, guys. So throw the rod gloves on, put them all on the boat, load everything up. Put the stuff that doesn't have any baits in the bottom, and then we're going to be good to go. All right, guys. Also, we bought, I bought some stuff from Oakwood, so what I got going is I got some of their their beavers, their, their kinky beavers. Um, I got I got a few colors on, on those. Um, I got, there's some right there. Got some of those. Or you want me to read off? What colors are they? Okeechobee colors, nothing about that. Green pumpkin, there's nothing about that. We got a little dipper in white trash. Uh, skinny dipper, and that's a pearl necklace. They didn't have any of the white trash, white trash ones. White trash, a little dipper. White trash, a little dipper. That's really all I use, guys. White trash, a little dipper. Uh, another pearl necklace, skinny dipper. Oh. Then I got a kinky beaver and dirty Sanchez. <laughs> and uh, that's everything that I got um, from Oakwood. And then I got a line, of course. 
Trent got him some line. He's got some more line. He's got one of the poles at my house, so uh, but we're good to go. I mean, we got everything, so we're gonna load this stuff up. We should be good for the trip. All right, guys, just put my rod gloves on, and I am putting all of them in the rod locker. But seriously, like these, if I didn't have these rugglers right now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, like these things, they would uh, take a lot of damage. Because seriously, I'm stuffing a lot of rods in here right now, because I'm just trying to get, you know, I'm, I'm bringing so much crap that it's just it's ridiculous. So they're not gonna get tangled, thank God. And I should all be good. All right guys, as you can tell right there, it's ridiculous. It is slammed packed. I even got some more reels down there that I got spooled up today, but it is slammed packed. And guys, like seriously, think about this. If Like right here, I got, in the bottom there, I got four rods in one hole, and like, it, it would just be packed if I didn't have those. It would be a disaster, so. Those are gonna help out a lot. Right, guys, boat is all clean. That's trench rods right there, but everything is flawless. Everything is, is good. In the morning, at around 9 o'clock, we get the cover and everything and throw it on the boat. We'll be good to head off. Alright guys, so just got home. And just a little update. It is around 9 o'clock right now. Yes, it's about 9 o'clock right now. I actually had to go pick this up. This is um, a Navionics chip. And this is Navionics Plus. Um, what actually happened is we're folding out the grass a little bit more. And we noticed that, you know, Sinclair, or not Sinclair, um, Seminole. For some reason, I mean, I guess because it's on the Georgia-Florida line. So it, it did not want to pick it up with the, Navi uh, the Navionics card that we had. So I had to go pick this one up. And um, big shout out to Oakwood Bait and Tackle. I actually went back there and I picked it up. They had it for me. They closed at 6. And um, I, I got there around 6. And, and I got it. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this day in the life. I know it was a little bit different. And I actually did catch a fish, which is pretty odd. You know, I really wasn't planning to do that. We, we were just graphing. I saw some on the graph and I stood up and... Casted that spook like three times and caught a fish. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. But um, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it did, which is pretty cool. So, guys, I got everything packed up and everything's pretty much, you know, ready, ready to go. Um, I've got some food right here. I mean, I'm going to be out of town for like six days, so it's going to be tough. But guess what, guys? I'm going to be vlogging all this. So after this vlog, just know that the next video is going to be um, uh, all the other vlogs. So... Got all the waivers right there, got everything I need, got the information to the hotel, got everything. These are actually some of my shaky heads that I sell on my website. If you guys would like to go check those out, the link's in the bio, bring in some of those. Um, but guys, seriously, thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like these type of day in the life videos, then please hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment below. I want to know what you guys want to see, guys. I really want to know what you guys are wanting to, you know, want, want to watch on my channel. And I think this was just something that was a little bit different. And, um, and I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below if you guys like this video. Also give the video a thumbs up if you like this video. And it really helps support me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.